Hey y'all. Uh, long time no talk uh, with the uh, guy talks to camera kind of video. Um, today I wanted to do a little bit of a story time. Um, and before we get started, just wanted to say a few things. Um, firstly, uh, the last three weeks have been uh, cover 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 which is different from normal it's usually like every other week I do an anime cover uh, but the last three weeks I did three in a row so I'm hoping that's well received I hope that's that's cool um, the other thing is I am about to, in like 20 minutes I'm about to start driving uh, five hours to go to International Trombone Festival um, so if you don't know what that is that is just a festival where artists, trombonists, musicians, everybody just come all together in one place uh, from across the world and get together. There's presentations, there's performances, there's classes. Um, you can meet a bunch of people. Um, but yeah, I get to go because uh, my the UNT Trombone Consortium, uh, which is the trombone choir that I uh, have the privilege of participating in, um, we are going to play a concert. Um, tomorrow night and by the time this video goes public it will be six days ago um, so there's really no reason for me to be advertising this other than if you missed it I'm sorry go next year it's gonna be a lot of fun um, and if you were there hopefully I saw you there that'd be pretty cool um, so anyways without further ado on to the story time oh no because of ITF, that's not the only reason I wanted to say. Um, because of ITF, I'm going to be out of town for several days, uh, meaning I will not have time to make videos. And I've been, I, I don't, um, I don't think I've taken a week off before. I think June first, like 2021. Uh, after that, I've been doing a video every week and without fail. So I'm going to take my first week off. Um, so don't expect a video let me see if I can find the date um, there will be no video coming out on the 26th um, because this video is coming out the 19th yeah the 26th so the next video you'll see from me will be on August 2nd um, yeah so that's life um, that's update for me what's going on cool story time get into it so in I want to say the fall semester of my freshman year it had to have been fall semester of my freshman year it's been late 2019 last couple months of 2019 I received in fact it may have been December of 2019 uh, we may have been on Christmas break I received an email from my marching band director because I was in uh, marching band my freshman year first semester um, found out it's not quite for me I, I'm not a marching band kind of guy, um, but that's beside the point. So I, this email, it was like, uh, it was forwarded from my band director to all of us. Um, this is a 400 person band, by the way. So it was something along the lines of, hey, we're looking for band members. We want a few band members to act. What, what, like like a, this is going to be a commercial on TV. I didn't know what kind of commercial. They didn't really say at the time. Um, and you get to just be a marching band member. We just need marching members. We just need like authentic marching band people who know what they're doing. Um, and this seemed like the place to ask. So that's how we got the email. Um, that was just the entire band got it. Um, I was like, well, you know, spring semester, I don't got anything going on. I mean, obviously I had stuff going on. I had classes, I had work, I had um, performances and stuff, but it seemed like the dates on that um, email, because I, I think they had mentioned like, hey, keep this, this, this date free. And so I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll keep those free, no problem. Um, I'm gonna try an audition, because there was an audition process. And so um, it was Dallas based. I'm, I'm already in Denton, it's 30 minutes away. I was like, there's no problem with me driving there. Flash forward that weekend I get home I'm talking to my family about this I'm like hey look at this cool opportunity um 
And I had talked to my friends about it too, who had also received the email and they were like, yeah, you know, it's probably just like a uh, local in town commercial. Like, you know, those commercials you see where it's like Jones barbecue and foot massage, that kind of thing. You know, it's very local, very uh, not widespread, which is exactly what local means. So I was very redundant there. They weren't interested in doing it, but I was like, hey, this seems like a cool opportunity. I might as well, I might as well try for it. And that was my thought going into it when I got the email. When I got home to my family, they were, they were on the same page as me. They were like, whoa, yeah, definitely you should, you should try that. And so I did. Um, I sent them the email with like my cover photo, resume a little bit. This was before I started growing out my hair. I think it was like up to here. Um, the cover cover photo that I sent them, I had like short, short hair. So I was a little bit worried about that uh, when the live audition came around because they did, they were like, yeah, come to the live audition. This is this address, this date, this time. Don't be late pretty much. Um, and so I brought my horn uh, because this was a marching band kind of thing. So I was like, okay, might as well bring my trombone. And I got in there on time. I checked in all that stuff. And I walk up to the desk and they're like are you here for the Buick commercial and I was like what <laughs> is that what this is so that was kind of crazy for me that was like shock number one I, I knew nothing going into this um it was just straight up like this is a national car commercial so like this if you get this gig you're gonna film this is gonna be spread nationwide so I was like dang that's pretty dope so I get in there um, and I think there was like the producer of, of the like uh, agency that I was uh, auditioning for. Um, the director was not there, if I recall correctly. I think it was just the producer, may maybe multiple producers. I remember there being two or three people. And so one of our one of our stance tunes uh, marching band was Fly Like an Eagle. So I just already had that learned. I already knew that. Um, and actually I did end up running into a friend of mine from the same marching band. Uh, we like knew each other already and we were like, yo, you're here. Cool. Um, so we had both taken the audition. Uh, and as far as I know, no, well, there may have been other UNT people who took the audition, but like, I was not aware of any. So I just like, I, they were like, just be as marching band cheerleader kind of, uh, expressive as you can while you play and so i did i just played fly like an eagle and one of the guys was like hey i like that song i like i know that song from from my childhood because he's a little bit older and he was like I, I, good good job and then um so that was like solo audition they were like just march for us a little bit play some stuff for us maybe play some scales some warm-ups whatever you do and i was like okay sure um and so then they l grouped us off into groups of four we get into the room and they're like, here are some chairs. We want you to sit in these chairs as if you're sitting in a car. And then they gave us this scenario to kind of act out. It was like uh, we were on the way to a pep rally or something like that. Something marching band like, you know. Um, so we sat down in the formation of a car, acted out the same scene. I, I, I don't remember what it was um, exactly, but I remember having to yell a little bit. And they told me like, hey, you yelled a little loud. Let's tone it down. <laughs> oh, I just hit the mic. See, I'm all, I'm always loud. Um, so that was that was kind of funny to me. Uh, anyways, end of audition. You know, I left. I didn't have anything else to do there, um, and so I just waited. After a while, I got an email saying, "Hey, you got the call back." And so it was like a couple days later, and they said, "All right, yeah, come back. Uh, we're gonna do pretty much more of the same thing, but you're gonna be auditioning for the director of the commercial himself this time." instead of just the producers so i got to meet the director played pretty much the same stuff for him and he was like yeah you know you're you you look good you like as, as a marching band person and honestly like i looked like a nerd and i think that was my biggest um my, my biggest pull you know it was two factors i was social and a nerd it's like 100 percent band kid and i had just gotten out of high school so it's four years of band in high school, 100% band nerd, 100% band kid, still doing marching band in college at this point. Just got done with my last semester of marching band in college. Boom. And I think that's what they were looking for because uh, lo and behold, I did get the gig. They emailed me saying, hey, we want to book you. So send us this information. 
send us your availability for these few days we want to get you fitted for an outfit and then these are the days we're shooting the commercial and i was like well that's awesome it's i don't know it was kind of it's kind of cool um and so the fitting day came i got fitted for whatever uh costume they had us do it was like it was a uh, old-fashioned style marching man outfits like super super intricate super um they had like um what are they called the little tassels yeah they had some tassels on the shoulders i think and then the shooting day came and this this was shock number two i get there and it's 6 30 6 45 in the morning i'm tired as hell and i see a bunch of cheerleaders and i was like that makes sense that would be why they want marching band members because there's cheerleaders and marching band members they kind of want to have a pep rally feel to whatever commercial they're doing and i was like okay that, that makes sense and then my friend who was from same same marching band same school who i know who we went we carpooled together because we both got it we both ended up getting it um he was like yo those are the people from the netflix show i was like what netflix show um what are you talking about he's like you cheer they're the cheerleaders from the cheer netflix show and apparently that was right uh they like have their their cheer team their college has their own netflix show called cheer on on netflix I haven't watched any of it, um, but I got to hang out with those guys and see them do cheer stunts like for two days straight. It was really cool. Uh, we ended up filming uh, again for two days and uh, it, it went well. I mean, it was a lot of kind of waiting around until we got called for our thing. Um, we were just kind of waiting in the wings, eating snacks, having like free, free food, free coffee, um, they provided lunch all that stuff it was it was dope i felt like i was getting a a movie star treatment because then that because i'd be on set doing my thing and then the director would be like hey can you fix uh can you fix kyle's thing or whatever like costume wise and someone would run up with like a like a hairbrush or a little little stick and like poke my hair into my hat like maybe touch up makeup or whatever um it was super cool here's where the story takes a little bit of a downhill turn unfortunately the um commercial was dedicated for march madness it was meant to come out around the same time as march madness was happening hence the pep rally marching band cheerleader kind of aesthetic um we actually the ncaa trophy ended up being on set and i ended up uh i think taking a picture with it i at least got to see it i don't know if i touched it at all but um, yeah, the official like NCAA tr basketball March Madness champion trophy that was there. Timeline wise, if uh, you had noticed, I got the call in 2019. We ended up filming February of 2020, the month before, um, or actually the month of uh, everything shutting down. Quarantine began. I was like checking YouTube every day to see if the commercial had released, um, and it never did. Uh, because March Madness got canceled. So that was the end of that story. And then and then I started receiving checks in the mail. And I was like, what's going on? And it turns out every month they were still giving royalties. Even though it never got aired on, on TV. We still were used for our time. We still got put in final cuts of things. Um, so technically, I, the contract said, yeah, pay us monthly. Um, so we got paid and, and it kept going. And it eventually stopped. And I was like, I was supposed to receive a check a couple days ago. What happened? And I checked my email. And it was the same people saying, no, like this, we filmed in February. 10 months passed by. This is December again. Email from the same people saying, hey, let's do it again. We want the same people, same cast, same crew. You're going to re-audition, but it's completely like, they didn't, they didn't tell us that it was a formality, but I kind of gathered that it was a formality because the director had said, or someone had said that director wants pretty much the same crew. So we auditioned virtually because um, this was still kind of fresh out of the uh, quarantine phase of the pandemic. I got uh, called back again and I got the gig again. Um, and I was like, oh my goodness, I get to do this again. Um, and I was so happy. Like, I was like, this could actually air this time. I get to go hang out with the same cool people. I get to, uh, experience this whole thing again. And it was crazy. It was, it was so much fun. The kicker though, 
shock number three in this story. I got I received a, like an extra email with a sound file saying like, hey, can you learn this? And it was the Buick theme song, I guess, because um, someone had written a jingle for it um, for the commercial specifically. And I was I was like, you want me to play? You, you want me to play for the commercial? I was like, oh, well, OK. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to do that. So I was like, I, I immediately I was like, yeah, what you want? You want this tomorrow? Yeah, I got it, dude. I will learn it right now. I did it, and filming day wraps around. We do it. We did another fitting day, but they kept all of our costumes from the year before, so it's like we were already sized properly, pretty much. My hair was a lot longer at this point, so they were like, "What are we gonna do about that?" And then we figured out we could just tuck it into the hat. We did the shoot again. I did like a separate shoot of me playing, and they told me play really bad, like really bad. And I was like, "You mean like?" like miss a couple notes and there's no like 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 middle schooler just picked up the instrument immediately joined the pep band or something trying to play this make it sound bad and so i was like well, okay and so i did uh i played bad we synced it up kind of with another video of me doing playing and i wasn't i was playing in the video but they didn't capture the sound so it was like they were trying to sync it so if you actually look at the commercial which i will leave a link of the commercial in the description i can't i don't know that i can take it and put it in my own video so i'm not going to um but i'll put a link to it in the description uh you can see this final product um and if you listen closely i did play the lick uh it was it was a really good filming process i was really happy with the result i mean it was just really cool to be a part of that experience and um yeah the rest is history that is my small brush with an acting um agency um and uh yeah with that i'm gonna i'm a little bit late i'm gonna go pick up my friend and we're gonna head to arkansas for itf um let me know if you have any questions about my experience and if you want to see any pictures um hit me up on discord join the discord server where i have free sheet music by the way um, I always get comments on videos saying, Hey, where's the sheet music discord server free? Just join, just join and stick around, man. We hang out. We, uh, we have a good time. Um, so with that, I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this small story time. Uh, ended up being a longer video than I wanted it to, but Hey, every YouTuber says that. So goodbye.